To summarize the historical background, the telephone that was invented by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876 became a staple in 50,000 American households alone within four years. The steam locomotive that crossed the North American continent reached a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour and an average speed of 88 kilometers an hour. And the public was in a spectator sports frenzy. The Pro Baseball League was born in 1876, and the first champion team was the Chicago White Sox. The racehorse Domino was the champion of the Kentucky Derby in 1891, and reigned undefeated as the Black World. And in the first International Olympics that opened in Athens, Greece in 1896, each sport had prize money, despite strict amateur regulations. What's all that racket? It's that troublemaker Sandman. You can't protect him anymore, Chief. The white man's books, they were hidden in his tent. This is treachery against our tribe and our ancestors. Sandman must receive punishment. <sighs> he will be scalped. Is there no objection? <laughs> What the? He's picking up speed. He's... he's outrunning the horses. This... this running style. I've seen it before. Where did he learn it? That is not an Indian running style. That is the white man's running style. The style used by the white man to compete for trophies and prize money. It's used for running short distances. What is everyone doing? Put more into your horses. He's escaping into the rocky hills. Don't let him get close to the cliffs. Sandman, you always separated yourself from the tribe as a child, like you were making fun of us. It's your own tribe being chased off its ancestors' land by the white man. Are you looking down on us like that? Punishment! 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 Give him punishment! One who goes against the laws must be punished! You are unforgivable! Sandman! What? Under the horse? What the? He dove under my horse! What are you thinking, Sandman? Are you insane? You purposely got kicked by my horse onto the rocks. And you're still climbing. <sighs> the arrows! Shoot him with your arrows! <sighs> How did he... What are you, Sandman? Did you really come from the same tribe as me? So, you were here after all. Uh-huh. Why you? Stop it! Please, stop it. Sorry. I'm really sorry, sis. Please. Ow! We're going back together, Sandman. I'll apologize with you. Promise to the Elder and the Chief and everyone that you won't read the white man's books anymore. Apologize and tell them you didn't mean to insult the tribe. <sighs> You're wrong. That's where our opinions differ, sis. 
The white man is the enemy, but protecting yourself by understanding the enemy's culture is another way. Our tribe's way of thinking won't work in these times. Everybody thinks we're being hounded from our ancestors' land, but the white man's basic concept is money. There is no such thing as the ancestors' land anymore. This place belongs to the person that holds the money. You were always like that since you were a child. Once you've decided, you never cooperated with anyone else. That's why nobody ever understands what you're thinking. Sis, let me show you something. It's over there. Ugh. What is this? What are you saying? I found this two weeks ago. Were they gouged out? Or maybe scraped out? They're perfectly round. How was this done? There are no warps. Every one is an imprint of a perfect sphere. And you'd have to scrape at an incredible speed to get this amount of holes. So what? I found the white man's books here too. This was done by a white man? You didn't say the white man was so close to us. Take it easy. This guy was alone, and he's not an enemy. He didn't come here to look for gold mines or steal anything. How would you know that? He was training here in this wasteland. Training? Don't we stay up in the mountains for hunting training? I can tell by his footprints. He was running. He was running here. Over and over. Look at this. This footprint is incredible. Amazing. He reached at least eight meters in one leap. Three horses worth. I just found that he was running with something in his hand. Stone or iron? Something very heavy. Is this it? Did this scrape all those holes in the rocks? What are you trying to say to me? Sis. I wanted to say goodbye. I won't come back to the village. I'm going on a trip. <gasps> this is a newspaper. Can you read it? It says steel ball run race opening. Prize money will be given to the winner. Fifty million dollars. Enough of the white man's money to buy this wasteland. Our land since our ancestors time. Excuse me. We've had complaints, Mr. Steele. The special toilets built on the beach are overflowing with waste. There is a horrible smell and the maggots are swarming. A kid even fell into the waste. We don't have enough lodging tents. We've had a fire from those tents and a lion and Komodo dragon we had caged escaped. We don't have enough drinking water. The Orientals are killing all the dogs, cooking and eating them. The French are lying on the beach with their dicks and tits hanging out for the world to see, and a fight may break out because of it. Why, you... What's a Komodo dragon doing on this beach anyways? Understand this. You take care of the trouble. That's your job. That's why I'm paying you. You're supposed to take care of this. Don't bother me with it again. But, Mr. Steele, there are too many unpredictable events occurring now. We predicted there would be 500 participants in this contest. There are two days before the race starts. About 2,000 people from all across America are gathering on this beach. More will come. The number of horses will threefold and many more spectators and related guests will come. We should celebrate this, but there is a chance that this race might be over before it begins. Damn. All right, you can add another million. Do something about it. Go over the budget and increase our capacity fourfold. Hmm. And tell those foreigners if you have to eat dogs and show your privates, tell us why. And if they don't quit it, kick them 
out. It may be because of their culture or religion, but so what? As long as they're on this beach, I am the law. We should move to another room, Mr. Steel. The Steel Bull Run press conference is about to start. <sighs> right. I'll be there soon. What am I gonna do? I'm so scared. What's gonna happen if this goes bad? What if this race falls apart? It's alright, Steven. You've been a promoter for 40 years. Believe in yourself. Do your best, my dear. Okay. I'll do my best. There, there. Mr. Steven Steele, about the Steel Ball Run race that begins in two days. You have explained this before, but please explain it to the newsreaders around the world. We will then move on to Q&A. The Steel Ball Run race will start at 10 a.m. September 25th, 1890 on the Pacific San Diego Beach. The goal will be New York, making it mankind's first North American crossing race on horseback. The distance is roughly 6,000 kilometers. Following this route, the champion will receive $50 million, which will be deposited into the individual's East and West Bank account. Second place, $1 million. Third place, $500,000. Fourth place, $250,000. Fifth place, $120,000, up through 10th place. And special prizes, such as the Checkpoint Award, will be present. Read the rulebook for more details. As long as the participant is aged 16 years or older, nationality, race, sex, pro and amateur status will not be questioned. A participation fee is necessary and is $1,200 per person. Let's move on to the questions. Tell us the sponsors of this contest. First of all, your news company, East and West Tribune, has exclusive coverage of this race. Others include the respective publishing companies, hotel groups including the San Diego Beach Hotel, B&C Meatpacking Corporation, Winchester Firearm Production, Horizontal Continental Railroad Corporation, and Speedwagon Oil Corporation. Many other corporations across America are interested in this race. Baron Rakachugo of German royalty has announced participation in a machine called an automobile. Ah, yes. I approve that. The race's identity is the pioneering spirit. When the railroads were first opened in the North American continent, people said this, the age of the horse is over. This race accepts that challenge. Come with any kind of machine. This race is a first in history. Nobody can predict anything that could happen with one machine or with one horse. No human has ever raced without rest against competition for 70 to 100 kilometers per day and for a distance of 6,000 kilometers. Is a horse's running distance being 70 kilometers to 100 kilometers per day the limit? Then it would take roughly 60 to 80 days to reach the goal. Like I said before, we can't predict that. There was a record of quarter horses running a distance of 3,164 kilometers between Missouri and California in 12 days, but that was a relay that used 400 horses instead of one. And was a record in 1851 during the Crimean War, where an Arabian horse ran 150 kilometers in one day. But the rider died of exhaustion. In this race, the exchange of horses is prohibited, and results in a disqualification. 
Also, the race goes through partly uncharted territory. That means going through wasteland without roads. But still, taking 60 to 80 days to finish is an appropriate estimate. Any other questions? There are some complaints about the $1,200 entry fee being a money-making racket. $1,200 is the same as a regular worker's monthly salary. I don't believe so. If the participants retired during the race, how would they get back home? Their travel expenses, medical expenses, hotel fees, and food expenses. We will supply all that. This race is a sport. Will you be allowing weapons? Hmm. Like the Second Amendment says about the right to bear arms, we can't take that away with our rules. One might have to spend the night in undeveloped territory. There is poisonous snakes and other wild animals. As long as it's not considered criminal behavior, we won't say anything about that. The answer is yes. Security during the race should be provided by yourself. Tell us of some of the champion candidates in this race. The Cowboy of Wyoming, Mountain Tim. He annually travels 4,000 kilometers through the pastures with 3,000 cattle. And he's quite the looker, too. From the Arab country of Egypt, Urmd Abdul is participating with a camel. He crosses the Sahara Desert three times annually. From the Far East, the equestrian master, Dot Han. He is the descendant of Genghis Khan of the Mongol nomads that conquered Eurasia. And, despite having origins from the low social ranks of England, he was raised by royalty and became a genius jockey of the horse racing world, Diego Brando, commonly known as Dio. Will his genius on the tracks work in long distance? The distance is tremendous. Before the finish line, if no one reaches the finish line in New York, the race is a total failure! The sponsors will be furious, and there will be a total loss of trust in the contest itself! How can you take responsibility for that? I might be eliminated. <gasps> that was a joke. <laughs> failure is... Listen closely! True failure is... Forgetting the pioneer spirit! and staying away from challenging the hardships. There is no such thing as failure in this race. There are only adventurers. This steel ball run race will be an event the likes of which the world has never experienced before. One more question. Is the person behind you your wife? I've heard she's... 14. That has nothing to do with this race. This interview is over. When the $1,200 entry fee is paid, there will be no refunds due to personal reasons. The start of the race two days later will be held rain or shine or regardless of accidents. Please sign here to acknowledge the rules. We will record the rider's fingerprints and the horse's nose prints on the starting day. Once recorded, exchange of riders or horses is strictly forbidden, so be careful. This is your player identification and number B-636. Also included is the race commemoration medal and badge. seen these things before. What do you use them for? Whoa! Oh! Oh! What the? Legs! My legs! What the hell? I was just making small talk! I was just curious! Why are you putting those round things in your gun belt? Is that so? Why can't I? My legs! Stand up! I'm not being held down or anything! If there's nothing wrong, with the participation fee on the counter, I'll believe you. Count it up, clerk. Uh, there's only $1,800. $20 short. 
Are there any discounts? Uh, of course not. This isn't a general store. I see. But didn't I just pay? I put it on the countertop. I did put it there. I haven't issued a receipt, so what's short is short. Are you sure you won't give a discount? So it was you after all. Give me the coins you swiped for me. If I'm $20 short, I wouldn't be able to enter the race, would I? Yeah. I wouldn't be able to enter the race and win it, would I? Who? <laughs> <sighs>